Hi, it's time to see how to use mDrummer in your projects. We will be talking about the magnificent MIDI command method, which lets you create your drum tracks in record times. But first, you can play mDrummer as a normal virtual instrument by triggering drum samples on your MIDI keyboard. Simply open the plugin in your host program, set MIDI channel to 10, load a drum set that you like, and you're good to go. But the actual fun comes with mDrummer Rhythm Engine. And to use it, all you need to understand is a concept behind the MIDI command method, which is very simple. And once you've grasped it, you'll fly. So let's begin. As you already know, each rhythm includes variations of intros, main beat, breaks, and outros. They're spread across the MIDI keyboard. We'll number them from minus one being the lowest octave. So intros cover octave minus one, beats zero, breaks one, long breaks two, and outros three. In Reaper and some other DAWs, it's even easier since it shows the actual commands as keys. Now, when mDrummer receives, say, C minus one, he hears play intro with minimal complexity. For B1, it is play a very loud and complex short break. Any key on octave four means simply stop immediately. So the octaves define which loop type should be played and notes in each octave specify the level or how complex it should be. Let's see how it really works in the rhythm editor. The loop selector shows all of the five loop types with octaves for each. Each key is called a loop box and can contain any number of loops mDrummer would choose from. Loop boxes with some loops in them are marked green. So whenever you send a command to mDrummer, it chooses a loop in the nearest green loop box and schedules it to play when appropriate, like a human drummer would. Let me make a simple example, an intro, followed by three beats, then a break, another three beats, and an outro. Let's see how that sounds. So far so good. M drummer's playing, but he may choose a different break every time it receives a corresponding command. At some point, you'll probably consider your arrangement done and you'll want M drummer to play the same thing every time, right? No problem. First, turn off the random loops in Rhythms Additional Panel. Now, how to select the breaks and other loops you want to be played at each moment in your song. For that, mDrummer offers a simple and ingenious solution. Use the velocity of each command. The higher the velocity, the higher the loop number is selected. For example, with velocity zero, the first loop will be chosen. And with velocity 127, it's going to be the last one. All other loops will be spread between these two values. If you select a certain loop in the rhythm editor, its center velocity is actually written here in the title of the loop editor. But I usually just try some random velocity, listen, and if I don't like it, select a different one and do the same thing. That's all you need to know. Now, let's make a drum track for a song. I have a true masterpiece for this occasion. It's a rock song, and if you listen to the lyrics, you'll learn a lot about life. I'll be using Reaper, but it works the exact same way in any DAW. I have the M drummer loaded with a drum set and a rhythm I like, and I'm going to make a drum track quickly. The song starts with a guitar intro. Let me play it a bit without drums, since this repeats several times in the song. I 
actually think the drums should be starting this with an intro. Simple one note. Now the guitar intro itself. I add seven beats and a break for the first half of it, which is quite typical. Since the intro is quite heavy, let's make M Drummer play heavy too and use key A, which in Reaper is already nicely highlighted as beat 10 and short break 10. Remember the higher the note in the octave, the more complex and heavy the performance will be. After that, I wanted to be creative, so I made the second half longer and at the end, there are no instruments playing. So it's a nice place for M Drummer to solo for a bit. So let me fill the second half with beats again, but end it with a long break. Let's play it. Good. Next is the first verse, which is simple. 16 bars of rock drumming. I want a break in the middle, so I'll make seven beats, a break, another seven beats, and another break. I'm using key D in Reaper Beat 3, since I want the verse to be quite calm. If you wanna be famous, if you wanna be great, then you need awesome drums, yeah, from M Drummer. If you wanna be... A chorus follows, which is identical to the guitar intro, so I'll just copy it. Next verse is identical to the first one, so let me copy it. I want it to be a bit heavier, so let me transpose it to say, E as beat five. If you wanna make some pop, if you wanna make some rock, if you wanna make some metal, yeah, you need M drama. If you wanna make. Then a chorus, I can copy that again, but no transposition this time since I want the level 12 for the last chorus being the finale of the song. Next, a guitar solo. Same as two verses, so let me copy that again. I want the solo itself to intensify, so I'll make the first half very calm with no break in the middle. And the second half, medium in level, and end it with a long break, since after that, there's the climax. Time for the last chorus. It's doubled, and the first part is actually shorter, classic 16 bars. So, well, I can copy a verse, just make it really heavy, level 12, key B. Second part is like any other chorus, so let's copy that one and transpose it to level 12 again. How about the ending? Let me play it for you. I would normally simply use an outro, but this particular ending really asks for the drums to go with the guitars. I could edit the outros in my rhythm, but I want to take this opportunity to demonstrate the stop command. First, I'll find the exact moment I want M Drummer to stop playing. And I'll simply add a stop command. 
and remove anything after, since this is the end of the song. And now I'll use MIDI channel 10 to create the ending manually. First, I create another MIDI track on channel 10 and route it to M Drummer. And now I just create this simple performance note by note. Let's check how that sounds. Okay, the arrangement is nearly finished. One final step I'd like to take. I want to sort out the breaks. Currently M Drummer selects them randomly for me. So I'm going to turn off the random loops option here. And now I can select the breaks I want by changing break notes velocity. Done. Here's the final drum track.
Was it easy? I think so. <laughs> if I wasn't talking so much, I could finish the track in two to three minutes. Thanks for watching and have fun making your own songs using M Drummer.